Good morning, everyone. Happy December 1st. Happy Thursday. Been a while since I said that. Um, hope your week has gone great so far. Uh, today is the first day of December. So as I mentioned in yesterday's video, we are going to be doing an Advent series to lead up to Christmas. Um, so I found one on the Bible app. Um, if you're not familiar with the Bible app, highly suggest you get it. Um, Version Bible has tons of different devotional plans. Um, you're able to do notes, bookmarks, all kinds of cool stuff. You can collaborate um, with people on <clears throat> Bible study plans. I've done that with a lot of people. Um, <clears throat> you can both read the same plan and then it gives you an area to comment. It's super cool. Highly suggest checking it out if you haven't. Um, but this is an advent that I actually did um, a few years ago, uh, and so I knew it was a good one. And so it's Advent, the Journey to Christmas uh, in the Bible app. So it comes with a devotion, and then we have a verse. How they set it up is you read the devotion before you read the verse. Um, I like doing a verse first. So I'm going to flip it up, switch it up, and we're going to read the verse and then go back to the devotion. Um, so... Uh, but yeah, so let's just dive right in. Day one, um, December 1st. Let's see what God has for us today. Our verse is from Genesis 3, verse 15. It says, I will make you and the woman, and the woman enemies to each other. Your children and her children will be enemies. You will bite her child's foot, but he will crush your head. All right. The title of this one is The First Promise. So did you know the first promise God ever made was about Christmas? In Genesis, we read that when Adam and Eve first sinned in the Garden of Eden, mankind was separated from God's presence. Sin robbed us of innocence and made us unclean. Because He is holy and perfect, God cannot be in a relationship with what is unclean. This separation broke God's heart because He loves us more than we could ever know. God immediately formed a plan for our re reconciliation with Him. From the very beginning of human existence, Jesus was going to be part of the story. God let Satan know that day what he had coming. He said, I will put an enemy... Sorry. He said... He said, I will put... In... in enmity? Enmity? In, uh, it's, it's a word, guys. Uh, between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers, he will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. Somewhere along the line, among Eve's offspring, there would become a Savior who would forever rid Satan of his power to separate God from man. Satan would try to stop him, but the Savior would crush his head. There's no coming back from that. I don't know how many of you have been around um, snakes. Uh, our family obviously does not like snakes. Um, and we are, uh, uh, if we see them, we're going to take care of them. I'm going to say it that way. Um, and you know, lots of people run over snakes and they think that that, that does it. That doesn't always kill a snake. Um, y you can run over them but that's not guaranteed to kill them. Um, but if you crush their head, if you separate their head from their body, that's going to kill them. They can't come back from that. Once you cause that separation, they can't come back from that. Christmas marks the beginning of God's process to restore our relationship with Him through a new covenant. The world waited thousands of years for God's promise to Savior, and then finally He was here. <clears throat> the one who would forever defeat sin and death became God with us. As we enter this Advent season, focus on the fulfillment of God's first promise. Recognize that God is true to His Word, and meditate on the truth that He loves you so much that He sent His perfect Son to be born into a sinful world so that He could have a relationship with you.
God wanted a relationship with us so much that he sent his perfect son to come and die. He sent his perfect son into a sinful world because he wanted a relationship with us. And it ends with a prayer. It says, Father, I'm amazed that your first response to our sin was a promise that it would not keep us apart forever. Thank you for choosing from the very beginning to send Jesus to make a way for us to be in relationship with you. As we approach Christmas this year, give me a deeper revelation of what you accomplished as he came into the world. Let me experience the joy you felt when Jesus was born and the fulfillment of your promise was set in motion. You ever thought about that? That whenever Jesus was born, the just, and I almost want to say the pride that God felt knowing that Jesus, because he knew all along that Jesus was going to die on the cross. But can you imagine as a father that the, 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 the amount of pride that he had knowing that his son was going to save the world, was going to save people from their sins. And seeing that plan that he had thought up and that promise that he had made be put in motion. Imagine that. Everyone have a great Thursday. I will see you tomorrow. And of course, go be the example.